Hi rainbows, thank you so much for your patience with me this week. I know I haven't posted very many videos this past week and it's been like two weeks since the last Royal Family episode. So I just wanted to say thank you. I just wasn't feeling well and was out of commission for almost a week. So that's why I haven't been able to film and post much, but we are back with another Royal Family episode. And this one is super exciting because it is Princess Amira and Prince Jabari's Royal Wedding. And I'm so, so excited. I did see a few comments in the last video Video asking if we could focus more on other characters and not just Amira and Jabari. So I'll be sure to do that for future episodes. I think it was just because there was so much drama going on with Amira and Jabari and I wanted to cover that and I felt a little rushed because I wanted them to get married before King Henry passed away. So that's just why, but we'll be sure to focus on other characters in the other episodes as well and like in the next episode in this episode. So yes, we are doing Amira and Jabari's royal wedding and then I'm also going to have Cornelius and Princess Arya age up into chill no into teenagers there are children already so they're going to age up into teenagers because I just feel like it's time it's been honestly like a really long time I feel like since they had even aged up into children so now they're going to turn into teenagers and then we'll start having the other kids age up into teenagers as well so we'll get to do that all in this episode so as you saw from the intro I did have a lot of people asking me to do an intro for, like a machinima intro for this episode so we will talk about that in just a moment. So as you guys saw that they were getting ready to go to the wedding. So now we are at the wedding. Guests are arriving. Amira is getting ready to walk down the aisle. So we did have the little short scene. And then I didn't think that I should make the actual wedding ceremony a short scene because I mean, like, yes, the wedding ceremonies are cute, but like nothing dramatic happens at a wedding. And like, unless Zara showed up at their wedding, which she's not going to. So I know some people wanted her to, but she's not going to do that. So so I think Amira scared her off in the last episode. So I wanted to actually watch the ceremony with you guys. So I will be doing that, but I'll be doing it a little bit different and like kind of showing scenes, but also doing the wedding. You guys will see what it is in just a moment. I know it's really complicated. I was trying to figure out the best way to do this. I also will ask and I will probably just make this a community post and ask you guys to vote too. I was wondering if you guys wanted me to keep doing the machinimas and short scenes for the intros for the royal family episodes or if you wanted me to release them as separate videos so it's kind of like a trailer for the next episode so that way you can watch it and then like see what's to come in the next episode and it's not just like the first thing before the actual episode, if that makes sense. So let me know if you guys want me to do that because that is a possibility. And then I'll actually just make a community post like tomorrow so you guys can actually vote on that too. So yeah, anyway, okay. So we're going to first show you guys the venue and you guys saw Amira's wedding outfit. I think she looks so beautiful. I'm so excited for this. So this is the venue. This venue is called St. Christopher Church and it is, but it's in the gallery somewhere. I'll put the information to download the original build in the gallery. And then I will also upload my remodeled version of the build in the gallery. And of course, giving credit to the original creator because I did not originally create this. So it is very beautiful. The inside is gorgeous. You guys are about to see it. It's really pretty. So we're going to have our ceremony here and then the reception. I know the outside kind of sucks for the outside, but the inside's really pretty. So you guys will get to see that for the reception space. So we have all of our guests here for our royal wedding. Queen Leilana, as you can see, is still pregnant. So I think she's like only in her second or th maybe she's in her third trimester. I don't know. She doesn't look that big. So I think she's just in her second trimester, but she'll probably have her baby in the next episode. So we will get to see her. And then also, I know I had mentioned this. I was confused why Marchioness Anna or Princess Anna, why she had not turned into an elder yet, but she now has turned into an elder. I think what it was is that her age was so much more behind because she was pregnant three times because Queen Cora was only pregnant once, but she had triplets. So she had three kids and then King Henry obviously didn't get pregnant. So I think that's why she was so much more behind them because her age just kept getting paused every time she was pregnant. And she had three kids, like three separate pregnancies. So I think that was why, but now she's an elder. So in case you were wondering, so it looks like King Henry was just greeting everyone. People need to like walk in though. I do also have a little photo memory wall. So 
I have Queen Alice, Princess Amira's mother on here. I have Princess May, but I only have the painting of Princess May because I, for some reason, like the picture of Amira and May wouldn't like move. Like I couldn't pick it up and put it in her inventory and I have no idea why. So I added this picture of Princess May and then also of King George and Queen Isabel, which is Amira's grandparents and King Henry's parents. So I have a little memory wall for them because they couldn't be here at the wedding. So I think this adds just like a little special something to that. So we are now going to start the wedding and Amira looks so beautiful. So she is getting ready to walk down the aisle. So I have this animation here of her walking down the aisle. One of my patrons, she was actually working on a post pack of her it looking like she was walking down the aisle with King Henry. But since it wasn't an animation, I can't like technically do that, but I'm gonna have pictures at the end of this video. I love this wedding dress for Amira too. I will link this wedding dress for you guys to see as well. It is much more of like alpha custom content. It's a little bit different, but I've been wanting this to be Amira's wedding dress forever. Amira and Jabari are getting married now, you guys. They are exchanging their vows. They look so pretty. She looks so pretty. Oh my gosh, I love this so, so much. I am so excited for them to have kids too. I seriously like, I think we're probably going to have them try for a baby at the end of this episode because I really want her to have a kid, especially before King Henry passes away. I want him to see Amir's child. I think they make such a cute couple too. Her and Jabari, I think, have been through just so much. So now they're getting married and they're getting to be together and I'm just so happy for them, honestly. So they are now married, you guys. Now we have all of our guests here chatting after the ceremony. So let's talk about the intro. So I did see a comment a while ago saying that what if Diana had a crush on Makai? And I was like, mm, I don't know. And then I thought about it and I was like, you know what? It's a possibility and I feel like it could happen. And I feel like she does have a little bit of a crush on Makai. I do think that she's really young. And I know that I've mentioned in the past that I feel like Diana was super crazy and rebellious and like irresponsible. And I mentioned like what I thought about her personality and of Bellatrix's personality, but I feel like it's changed a little bit. I kind of feel like Bellatrix is the rebel, but like in a different way, like a very, oh, I don't care kind of thing. And it, it kind of just seems to me like such a teenager to me. And then Diana, I do feel like she wants to be just like Amira. She loves Amira. She loves her older sister. And then I feel like Bellatrix, I feel like she just doesn't like to get caught up in typical standards and who to marry and all of that stuff. So that's kind of my current thoughts on their personalities. But yeah, I do feel like Diana has developed a little bit of a crush on Makai. And when Makai saw Amira, I think that, so they are still just friends, but I do think that Makai, when he saw her, he couldn't help thinking of like, well, what if we never broke up? Like, what if we worked out? I think that's just kind of what his feeling was when he saw her and just like how beautiful she looked. Cause let's face it, she looks so beautiful. So that's what I feel like that whole thing was. And then Diana, I think that she can't help but to have the crush on Makai and she's wondering like, what are these feelings that I'm having? Like she hasn't told her sister, she hasn't told Amira yet. And I don't think she wants to tell Amira. And then with Bellatrix, I think Bellatrix kind of has an idea that she's having a crush on Makai. So that's all that situation. So we'll kind of see how that works. Makai is a lot older than Diana, which I know a lot of people say it doesn't matter, but like just the fact that he had a serious, I mean, a kind of serious relationship with Amira. Like they had strong feelings for each other, but it was hard for them to actually be like together together. So they just had a very complicated relationship. And I do feel like Amira would be at first a little bit hurt if Diana liked Makai. So I don't know if she would end up getting over it and being okay with it, or if she wouldn't be okay with it. So you guys will have to let me know your thoughts on that. Makai is seeing someone. He's seeing Kayla, who actually, I don't know if she showed up here though at the wedding. They aren't like officially together, but he is having a slightly romantic relationship with her. So yeah, okay, anyway. Oh my gosh, people like just already sat down. <gasps> I rarely get to see people actually sitting down at these things. Who is this? This is a random girl. I try not to really invite kids. Like I didn't invite kids, but they showed up anyway, which is fine because it's like the royal kids, but then also random kids showed up. And I turned the tray on for the lot to not have paparazzi or fans show up, but I don't know if it works. But people are actually sitting down to eat. This is awesome, you guys. Oh, and this is, oh, this is Queen Evangeline's sister. This is, oh, I think it's Baroness Valentina. I'm pretty sure is her title. So that's Baroness Valentina. So it's Amira's step 
aunt, I guess, and then Diana and Bellatrix and Charles' aunt. And then we also have Charles and Araminta here, you guys, they're talking. Oh gosh, oh, Princess Leila. Oh, people are going behind that curtain and disappearing, that's fine. We will be focusing on them in a few episodes and then we will circle back to the whole thing with Araminta's mother, with Maylin, and the affair that she's been having. So we'll definitely get to cover them. I do think that Amira and Jabari are going to be living in one of the other royal palaces until Amira becomes queen because she wouldn't actually be living with her parents. Like they would live in their own place for a while. So it will definitely be temporary, but as soon as she becomes queen, she's going to move back to the official Windenburg palace. But they are now married and you guys, they are so cute. I'm very much obsessed with them and I love them so much. Let me know what you guys think of this wedding and of like of the decorations and everything. But yeah, they're now married. So we'll have them try for baby in a little bit. We're gonna go do the birthday party first. It's almost daytime now. Yep, it's 7 a.m. We should probably end this. So I will upload this to the gallery under the hashtag Amira Ray Royals and then my gallery ID. My gallery ID you can find in the description below. I'm not going to say it anymore in videos because I might change it at some point, so I'm not 100% sure, but just look in the description below. We are now at the royal family of Willow Creek, and it's a beautiful Sunday morning, and it is Prince Cornelius's birthday. So the last time it was his birthday, I combined a birthday party with him and Princess Arya. I guess I could do that. I was actually kind of thinking of doing like the cake with just his family because he hasn't really been the most well behaved so I didn't think that they would throw like an actual birthday party for him but then again he's the heir to the throne so maybe they would so uh, I, I just didn't want to do two separate birthday parties with him and Arya because I didn't want to take that much time to do that because birthday parties take up a lot of time. And then also I have not finished with the renovation of the Oasis Springs Palace because they're technically moving into a new palace that was built by one of our patrons. So right now they're living in a separate palace, the one that we had in the last episode. So maybe I will just invite them over here for a birthday party. Oh, this is so random. I'm so sorry, but I wanted to show you guys really quickly. So I had a few people make art for me, one of them. So this is my from my friend Lizzie. And she, if you guys can see, she drew Princess Amira. And I think it looks so cool. I love this so much. So she drew Princess Amira. This is from my friend Lizzie. She has amazing artwork. And then the other one, this is on my phone. So I apologize if you can't see as well. But this was made by one of my patrons, Mina. And she put this on DeviantArt. And this one is of me. Oh gosh, I'm sorry. The camera's like focusing on my face instead of on my phone. But this is of me. And I know it's probably backwards, but it says Mira Ray. And I am like wearing a crown in it too. I love this. I just wanted to show this off because it made me so happy. I did have a few people asking to send me stuff too, which like just makes me so happy. It's like making me cry. I actually won't probably be doing a P.O. box until I move to LA, which is going to be in August. Um, so I appreciate it. If you guys did want to send me stuff, then just if you don't mind hanging on to it for a few more months, and then I'll give you guys a P.O. box as soon as we move. But I, just because I think I would have to change the P.O. box when I move to LA, and I just didn't want to go through the trouble of doing that. So that is why. But yeah, I just wanted to show that off. It made me so happy. Okay, I'm sorry. Let's get back to the episode. All right, so yeah, let's just do a birthday party here. I feel like that is fine. All right, so the birthday party has now started. We have our little princesses, Princess Elena, and we have Princess Juliet. I actually need to add princess to their name, but I made some changes to their outfits, so that's why there's no princess in front of it. Oh yeah, I do have a lot of people asking that and saying that the rename mod is not working for them. So the rename mod does not work in Create a Sim. You have to go, I've explained this before, but you have to go to the cheats bar and type in rename, and then that's how you change it. So yeah, technically Queen Cora is supposed to be Queen Mother Cora. So that is how you use the rename sheet in case you did not see that before. So we have Prince Cornelius here. In the last episode, I mentioned that he is being a bit of a troublemaker. He's hot-headed. He's the oldest and has like three sisters, like three younger sisters. I feel like he's just got a lot going on with him. I do feel like he's very rebellious. I think it might get worse when he's a teenager. So we'll have to see. I'm excited to like pick the style of his outfit and everything. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, that's Prince. Princess Belle's daughter. This is Lady Ariana. So that's Princess Belle and Prince Francisco's daughter. And then we have Princess Kimberly here as well. But yeah, so that's the whole thing with Cornelius. And then with 
Arya. So in the last episode, so I had several people for Princess Arya and for Lord Gabriel. So she met Lord Gabriel to meet him for a possible arranged marriage and their family seemed to get along. But then people pointed out, I don't know how I missed this, but Lord Gabriel has the mean trait. I didn't know that. So I completely overlooked that. So you guys will have to let me know what you think. Maybe he's like, mean and is dealing with some issues and has like some frustration but maybe he's really nice to Arya so we can kind of come up with a few scenarios for that so you guys will have to let me know what you think I think they look really good together and they got along so well and their families get along so well so that's why I really like him I can like kind of contemplate some other possibilities too but that one is my favorite so far so let me know what you think maybe with the whole mean thing maybe he's just like not mean to Arya maybe Arya can kind of help him through things or I don't know maybe it'll be problematic so we'll just have to see and then after the birthday party we are going to be making Amira and also Jabari have a baby and I'm so excited or well, they're gonna try for a baby sorry oh you guys Princess Julia and Prince Manuel are talking to each other <gasps> Ooh, that might be a possibility that would be really cute okay so Cornelius is now going to blow out the can what are you doing Prince Ma- No, 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 no. You're not blowing out those candles, are you? Okay, Cornelius. Oh, I'm so excited to see him as a teenager. He's now aging up into a teenager. Okay, so Cornelius has aged up. I do feel like Cornelius is very rebellious. I wish there was just something of like, power like I want power I feel like that's gotta be knowledge or I don't I don't know you guys okay I can always change an aspiration so let's just go with the whole knowledge thing for now let's say he wants to be good at many things at once oh this one is perfect though although if I have to delete this for any reason like if it doesn't seem to be working then I might have to get rid of this and then he wouldn't have a trait, but I can just replace it with something else. But a frenzied rebel. So these Sims get angry at the thought of being controlled by anyone or anything. I feel like this is him. This is perfect. Oh my God. Okay, well, this is not what I want for his outfit. Oh my goodness gracious. Well, let us first add the birthday candles so Princess Arya can age up into a teenager. And then I will work on both of their outfits. And then we will have Amira and Jabari move into the second Windenburg Palace and then I will have them try for a baby. So we're gonna do, uh, we're gonna do, I got a lot to do. I'm excited to see Princess Arya as a teenager though. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and mess with their outfits. Okay, I just finished doing their outfits and giving them makeovers. So this is Prince Cornelius. He's actually really cute. I think that he looks a lot like his father, but then he has his mother's hair color, which is really cool. So this is Prince Cornelius. I do, like I can kind of see the, oh, okay, well he needs to come back. But I can kind of see the deviant side to him just like a little bit he's very hot-headed so you can't really see that as much he's very happy right now so you can't tell but yeah that's Prince Cornelius and then here we have Princess Arya who is beautiful you guys she looks beautiful I had the same hairstyle that she was wearing as a child and like the adult and teenage version so I just gave her that one because I mean I, I don't know I didn't want to change it too much but I will probably change her hairstyle a little bit later I just kind of like to ease their way into their looks and not just do like a drastic change suddenly one day so that's why I kept her hairstyle. She's gorgeous. Oh my god, you guys. She looks like Naya, but like, I don't know, does she look like Philip? You guys would have to tell me who you think she looks like, because I'm not 100% sure. But anyway, so that's Arya and Cornelius, and they just had their birthday party, and oh my god, time is going by so fast. It's like the next day already. So I have just moved Amira and Jabari into technically the royal summer home. I think it's actually almost summer. Or it's like the end of spring or something right now. Oh, their household says Selva Dorada, so we're gonna change that. I'm just, actually, I'm just gonna change to Amira and Jabari for now because I mean they're gonna move back into the other palace anyway. All right so now they've moved out which I actually feel like is very sad for like Diana and for Henry. I mean they'll be over like all the time. They're very close by. I don't think it's a big deal but yeah I do feel like the get started they want to be on their own and have their own place and then hopefully be having a baby very soon too. So I'm actually going to send them on their honeymoon in Granite Falls and then we're gonna have them try for a baby. All right, I just spent way too long trying to find them a place in in Glimmerbrook, but look how pretty this is, you guys. I got this from the gallery. I just found it. Oh my God, it's so pretty. There's like no custom content 
in here either. It's called Umbred Manor Refurb. Definitely make sure you look this up. This is awesome. I just wanted like a really nice place in Glimmerbrook for them to have their honeymoon and I feel like this is perfect. It's probably like a little too fancy and like brick-like for... Oh, did I say Glimmerbrook? I meant Granite Falls, sorry. Um, but yeah, I think for Granite Falls, I know most people imagine like the cabin-ish looking things, but I wanted it to be a little bit fancier. But now we are going to have them try for a baby and I'm so excited. Amira's actually a little bit sad because it says she's homesick because she's on vacation, which I've never noticed that before. She already misses her family, you guys. They like just got married and they got married, I guess like a day or a yeah, a day ago. And now they're on their honeymoon. But now she's on her honeymoon with Jabari. So I think they're gonna have fun. Okay, so they're done trying for a baby. Now I'm gonna have Amira take a pregnancy test. I hope she's pregnant. Take pregnancy test, okay. Okay, Amira, are you pregnant? <gasps> yeah! Oh, I forgot her and Jabari, they have the Salvadorada last name. They should have the Windenberg last name, but she's pregnant. She's pregnant. I had a lot of people suggesting baby names for Amira and Jabari specifically. I did ask for baby names for Princess Leilana or Queen Leilana and for Prince Dean's baby, which they should be having in the next episode. I do already have have Amira and Jabari's baby named picked out. If it is a girl, I'm gonna name her Alice May for obviously Amira's sister and mother. And then if it's a boy, I really like the name Cedric. I think Cedric is more like a Scottish or Irish name, but I really like it. Mostly just because I was obsessed with Cedric Diggory in Harry Potter. And then that was also a name suggestion that someone gave too. All right, anyway, I'm gonna end this episode here. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and are as excited as I am for Amira and Jabari to have their baby. Let me know what you guys thought of their royal wedding and also of Arya and Cornelius's new looks. Hit that subscribe button if you have not already and turn on your notifications so you don't miss any videos and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!